So that song we sang entitled The Lamb of God kind of pictures why we exist as a church, why we're even here, why we do this week out, week out basis. So just being at home, drinking our coffee, getting ready to watch the Eagles and the Redskins lose again, you know. Um, we we'll need something to bring us a little life and joy, and that's why we're here. But no, it's because of what Jesus did, his death on the cross, his sacrifice for our sins, paying a debt we could never pay, repay, and then rising again, life evermore. So this morning, we have a couple individuals that are going to be baptized, and, and, and you're going to hear their story of their lives, of when they came to this place in their faith journey, when Jesus wasn't just something that they heard about in church, celebrated Christmas Easter, but he came into their lives, and he changed them forever. So baptism for us here at CCC is not a, it's not a ritual, it's not a requirement, but it's an opportunity for those who are being baptized to say, I want to declare my allegiance to Jesus. I want to declare to my family, my friends, my church community, to anybody that will listen, that I am a follower of Jesus. over a year. When I was seven years old, I accepted Jesus as my Savior. My life didn't change much after that. I just attended church and served whenever I could. To me, being a Christian was about following all the rules, being a good person, doing good things, and believing that Jesus died for me. I never had a relationship with God. I just followed all the rules. In February of 2020, I started my first dating relationship. I idolized my boyfriend and our relationship. My life revolved around him to the point where all I cared about was spending time with him and nothing else. I filled a hole in my heart with that relationship that was only designed to be filled by God. In December of that year, I was in a car accident. I believed that God was using this accident to get my attention to open my eyes to my idolatry. Deep down, I knew that God was not pleased with my idolization of my boyfriend, but I didn't listen. I just kept on living life the way I wanted to. This doing what I wanted led to me making sacrifices and giving into peer pressure in my own sinful desires. I deeply desired intimacy, and that manifested itself into our relationship sexually. I was disappointed that this did not give me what I had hoped it would. I felt guilt, but it wasn't enough to make me change. Not even a month later, our relationship ended. I was devastated. I'd put so much effort and energy into that relationship and it had given, in, I had given it everything I had. Guilt and shame finally hit me. I was so ashamed and so embarrassed of my decisions. Through that loss and breakup, God again patiently showed me that my relationship with my boyfriend was drawing me farther away from him. I struggled with forgiving and loving myself. I already had low self-esteem before, but now facing my seemingly unforgivable sin made my self-esteem even lower. God brought Barb Matthews, who is in the water with me, into my life, and God used her to open my eyes and show me that I am loved and worthy of God's forgiveness. Over the last eight months, God has helped me rely on and trust in him. He has helped me see my beauty, worth, and value, which I have never seen before. God has shown me that I can forgive myself and the people who have hurt me. God has helped me through a lot of rough things this year. Today I am here to be baptized because I want everyone to know that I am a new creation in Christ and to publicly show that God has forgiven me even when I felt unworthy and like I could not be forgiven. Cassie, thank you for sharing your story. We all have a story. And in every person's story, they have to come to the place that you did to recognize that they need Jesus and that he will take care of all of that and make them completely new. And so today, based upon the, the testimony of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, Barb and I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. Congratulations.